Hey everybody, it's Monday. Um, time for an update video. Uh, did a lot this weekend. I think I did a couple of videos. Uh, me and my daughter sat down and worked on the Hive Tyrant. Knocked out quite a bit of it. I'm still working on uh, the little bits and pieces of it. She's got school this week, so here and there, depending on if she has homework when she gets home from school, we may work on it a little bit. We'll see. Um, I did finish my one project for last week, the Riptide. Got it completely done. Um, I still don't have the little uh, support weapons and stuff done, but I think I'm just going to spend a day, maybe this week, and just work on nothing but support weapons, so that way I can get them all done, because they all relatively are going to be the same color scheme, the green, the red, the white, nothing fancy, even if, if like, my Riptides are red, mostly red, or, like, he's mostly blue, I'm still going to keep those the main color of the army, and that's the red, the green, and the white. Um... Also, this week, I think I'm going to work start my uh, commander, my Tau commander. I think I'm going to start working on him. Get him knocking out, knocked out. Uh, I'm going to start a couple of series, maybe this week, probably not. Uh, it depends on where I get. But I'm going to start, oops, I did it again, which I mentioned the other day, which is going to be the video where I attempt things it's it's just like hey let's do this to see if it works like I'm gonna try the to paint marbleizing effect and try to get some realistic marble going um, another paint scheme be doing the uh, oxidation on like the bronze statues giving them kind of that teal and white oxidation that happens to them um, just things I'm gonna practice and just other techniques and tricks that I'm that for me I'm really nervous about trying but I'm still going to jump on it and do it anyway. And then I'm going to do another video, probably be Tuesdays. It'll be Terrain Tuesdays, where I'll just do like little bits of terrain pieces, just little small pieces of terrain or something. Um, even larger projects, once I start getting those going, uh, show those updates on Tuesdays. Um, what else, before I get down and show you the models? Uh, Q&A video. Uh, there's been a lot of Q&A videos lately that I've watched, and I really enjoy them because it really helps you get to know a person. Um, it kind of like it just kind of connects you a little bit more to the community. You got all these people from all over the place. I know it's like most of the people I watch are from the UK and things like that, and it's kind of nice learning about them, getting to know them a little better. So that being said, I'm gonna do a Q&A video. And I'll probably do like one a month. Um, and this video here will be the kickoff video. You can ask questions in the comments and whatnot. And then I'll gather them up and probably next Monday when I do an update, it'll be an update and a QA. and a And then I'll, I'll go through all the, the questions and answer them the best that I can. They ask whatever you want, hobby related or not. If it's offensive or something like that, I won't answer it. That's just the way it is. But uh, if it's anything else, just ask away I, I I'll answer them the best that I can like I said so that being said I'm gonna go table down show you what all I got so going on table down um, this is my cold star commander <clears throat> and all his little bits and pieces so everything's magnetized on them and pinned so that way I can do that off camera so I can see it better So yeah, so I can change them up, give them the different jump packs. So there's the magnet. I might have to reprime all these little bits of him because they've been in a bag for a while. And they're all starting to chip again since I haven't worked on them yet. Um, but I, pri I magnetized all his weapons options. I really wish I had another cyclic ion blaster because man, those things look cool. So. Sorry, I'm trying to focus better. There we go. So, yeah, magnetize all his goods. Everything, you know, magnetize the shield. Oh, wait, that's not it. I pinned the shield. That's what it was. I do pins on things. So that way, if you want, 
I can pin it on him. I did that for pretty much all the support little weapons and stuff. So like this thing here. Um, like this. I put a little pin in there so I can, if I wanted to, just slide it on. Again, sorry, I'm trying to work around this camera, so it's a little pain in the butt. There you go. So it just kind of pins on there. What else did I do? I magnetized all the drone options. I actually dropped one behind the couch, so the marker light drone. I don't have it right now because I have to find the bit. Um, on these Cold Star ones, here's the missile thing. I'm at, I did the same thing with the pin inside there. Dude, this is so hard working around a camera. Let me tell you. Yeah. What else did I pin on this guy? Oh, I don't know why, but I did it anyway. I pinned his hands. So that way he can have the different hands. I'm, I'm, I should stop being, uh, stubborn and just go out and buy another model, but I'm poor. So, I did it where I can pin all the options, depending on what mood I'm in on him. Anyway, this, that's my project for the week. I'm gonna try to get him completely done. I gotta glue his fin back on and broke off. Yay. And then here is... One of the uh, Hive Tyrant bodies I'm working on. We're still trying to figure out what color to do the carapace. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because as the size of the model goes up, the carapace changes color. So like the smaller figures, the gaunts and things like that. And the warriors are going to be all that kind of red tones that we did. But then like this one, the bigger it goes, we're trying to figure it out. We might do like some greens. Like do a like a deep green and then kind of lighten it up, but but lighten it up with white, not with a yellow, so it stays like more of a minty green as opposed to going that harsh kind of lime greens. But that's just a thought. I think adding the white to it gives it that cool effect, gives it that better look, keeps it within the ice theme. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and glued him down on this base because for the most part it's done. Um, besides the carapace and those are easy to paint while it's on the base So I'll get those done and then come back and do some of the highlights on the claws and stuff and uh, Add the snow. I'll add the snow around his feet. So it looks like he actually has it built up on his feet so But yeah, there is that and then my finished project I'm gonna zoom back here There it is my max to my Mira is finished. Mira. So. It was very, very fun getting him finished. I don't have his other his ion cannon out. It's put up in a box right now. So, but he does have magnetized. Both weapons are magnetized. So, I can put whichever one I want on there. Still playing around with the lighting effect, like the the uh, going back and airbrushing the light, the glow effect, but I think it turned out okay. I really like the storm surge shield on there. So, but yeah, that's him. He's done. So let's show the two of them together. The dynamic duo now when I fin uh, get some legs for the other one I'll have Ben in the back he'll be uh, the next step I got him the other his pose planned out already so I already know what I'm gonna do with that so I'm gonna have the three fighter pilots from uh, Robotech Macross I had to say both of those or else you'll get some fanboys like super mad at you but yeah that's my update video. It's short. 
again, like I said, I'll do that Q&A starting next Monday and probably do it like once a month or whatever. But uh, just leave your questions in the comments and yeah, hit the like button and enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, feel free. Take care, guys.